So I want to tell you a wee story. This here is called the Bible Stone. And it's literally oh, about four miles from Muir Kirk. I'll show you Muir Kirk in a moment when I stand in the stone. Across the most rugged territory, my feet are soaking just getting here. Uh, it's so boggy and marshy. And this is where the preacher would stand at the Conventi Homes and the people would come from Muir Kirk a few miles that way, Sanker a few miles that way. They'd walk over the hills and the moors and this is the pulpit where the preacher would stand for the conventicle and to this day people have kept a bible in here that would have been covered until recently that was actually covered and they called it the bible stone if you carried your bible going home and you were stopped by the troops who would be aware that something was going on you would be shot in the spot so they would keep a bible here hidden so that the preacher could take it from there then he would walk up here walk up here and they would stand on the Bible stone this would be the pulpit and the people the Covenanters this is in the 17th century as I'm sure you know they'd be standing all around there I've just got one in my congregation today hello Jordan and the folks would be gathered and it would be bad weather the worse the weather in a sense the better because the troops wouldn't be out so much and if you can see Away in the distance over this here, the wee town of Muirkirk. That's about, well, we reckon three, four miles away. Uh, where's my finger? See it there? And folks would walk. I'll show you the Sanka Road. I'll send another video. The old Sanka Road, about 700 years old, that we walked up to get here. And they would gather. They would do it quietly. Many of them hiding from their neighbours because their neighbours would tell on them. They wouldn't put it on Facebook, if you know what I mean. And they would gather. Young men would be on the hills. There'd be a young guy up there, for example. A young guy up there. They would have lanterns underneath, cloaks. And if they would see some movement beyond the hills, they would open the cloak a little bit and let the lantern shine. And the people down here would know that the troops are coming from whatever direction and they would scatter. Historic site here, the Bible Stone.